Jones, and welcome to another one of my free art lessons. I want to show you an interesting way of maybe creating some falling snow. There are several ways that you can create that illusion in a watercolor. Uh, you can use a product called Frisket, and you can splatter that on, let it dry over 20 to 30 minutes, and then go ahead and do your painting and remove that after the fact. It comes off with an eraser. Or I've got another way that I like. I've got a product that's called Agua Cover, and uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about this. I love this product, and this is what it looks like. And I love this product simply because I can use it to create smoke coming out of a chimney. I can do birds in the sky. I can do highlights at the edge of trees or rocks. But also I can use it to create falling snow, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So here's a bottle that I have that's already open. And I'm going to take the top off. Now, it comes with a little eyedropper, but don't worry about the eyedropper. The eyedropper doesn't mean anything. That's just the lid for it. So I'm going to take the eyedropper off, or the lid off, and I'm going to grab my brush. Now, you can use your good watercolor brushes for this. This is water soluble. It's very safe. It's made of the fibers of the watercolor papers, okay? Now, when you order this, make sure you let them know what paper brand you're using or whether it's a bright white or a natural white, and they'll send you the appropriate color. I use the bright white all the time because I use it to create nice bright things like snow and so forth. But what I've done is I've taken my good brush and I dip my brush in it. Now, let me explain something to you. When you get it, it actually comes solid, okay? You actually liquefy it by taking just your good brush with some water, and you can put it right in there and liquefy it, and then look what happens. You can take and splatter this and create the illusion of snow falling. You can get finer flakes of snow by doing it this way, by tapping it on your finger. But you can also get larger ones if you want this way by splattering. Let me get a little more water, a little more aqua cover, and let's go ahead and continue splattering. But see how you can create the illusion now of snow, falling snow, by simply splattering it with the aqua cover. Now, a word of caution, don't overdo it. Have more concentration maybe of a little snow area in one area than maybe the other area so that it has a little bit of an interesting variety going on of, of snow in one area falling and so forth. So it's not just a solid mass. I know it's not necessarily that way in nature, but it gives a more interesting look in a painting. Now, another thing that I want to mention to you is this. Make sure that when you do this that your painting is dark enough in areas to give the illusion so you have a contrast of the dark and the light together. If this area is too light, like here, it's not going to show, obviously, on the light on the top of the white roof. So, you know, you can go ahead and put some coming down along the edge of the side of the building and so forth. But again, don't overdo it. A little bit goes a long way. But there's a little interesting exercise for you to create falling snow. Now look here. See where I've got a dot that's too large? You can just take a tissue and come on and pick it up. Let's suppose that you didn't see that until it dried. You can come back in, wet your brush. Remember, it's safe to use on your good paper and your good brushes. It's water soluble. You can thin it out and paint very transparent with it, or you can get more concentrated with it to get a more opaque look, such as in the case of snow. So let's come back in. Let me take a tissue. And where it fell, I can just reliquify it just like watercolor paint, and then come in and just pick it up and it's gone. So that's how easy it is to use this. Trust me, you're going to love this stuff. There are so many great things you can do with it. You can actually create the look of trees in a dark forest and so forth using this. I've got a painting that I want to show you here where I've used um, some of the exercises such as um, lifting out for barbed wire and so forth. And I'll show you how I did that on this particular painting right here. But I can use aqua cover in here as well, and I'll show you how I do that. I scratched out here to create a light look for a fence here and a light look for some uh, grasses here in the edge of a tree. But let me show you how you can use the aqua cover to create the look of some tree area over here. Maybe there's some dead trees that are in your forest. So you can come in and just paint those in using this aqua cover. See how much fun that is? There's so many things you can do with this aqua cover that I know you'll enjoy it. Give it a try. Thank you for joining me. My name is Tom Jones, and check out some of my other videos, full-length videos, or DVDs, on my website, tomjonesartist.com. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this art lesson.